I'm Kat and this is my winter wrap up and spring TBR. Thank God winter is over. Winter is my least favorite season. I hate being cold. So of course I moved to Melbourne. I am so ready for the spring weather to fully kick in, but like it's Melbourne, you never know what the weather's gonna do. So winter was actually a pretty good reading season for me. I read 16 books, which is like the best I've done all year. And let's get into a speed wrap up so I can get onto my TBR. The first book I finished in winter was Again But Better by Christine Riccio. I did start this in autumn, finished it in winter, and I loved it five stars. I know a lot of people who didn't really like it, but I just connected with it. And it's something I really wish I had six years ago in my first year of university. And then to make this next part quicker, I read books two through six of the Georgina Kincaid series by Rochelle Mead. I love Rochelle Mead and I finally read one of her adult series that she wrote before Vampire Academy. It's adult urban fantasy and it's about a succubus. They're not the best pieces of literature in the world, but they were fun. I gave them all four stars. They were really easy to read and I just flew through them. And there's this whole storyline going through all of them and like it gets revealed right at the end, but I got it a little bit further up. But I had only gotten like part of it and it was revealed to be this whole huge thing and I was like whoa how did I not see that coming and somewhere in between reading all of those I read the last two stories of the ghost of the shadow market by Cassandra Clare and a few other authors I read the ones that were released online as they were coming out and I finally got to read the last two and yeah I get why they weren't released before Queen of Air and Darkness because spoilers five stars I love everything shadow hunters and then I finally read King of Scars by Lee Bardugo I bought this in January and had every intention of reading it straight away, but I didn't. So I read it in August. I gave it four stars. I love Nikolai and I love Zoya. I do also love Nina, but like Nina's storyline was separate to Nikolai and Zoya's. So I was a little confused as to why they were put together, but I'm sure they get more intertwined in the next book. And then I read a YA room book of the month and that is Gumiho Wicked Box by Kat Cho. I gave this three stars, it was enjoyable. It was interesting to read something out of what I usually read because this is set in Korea and is based around Korean mythology. And I've also learned that it's the beginning of a series. I do think it could have worked well as a standalone. So after that, I read Captain Marvel Higher, Further, Faster. I gave this four stars, I loved it. It is middle grade, but it follows Carol in a time when she was training to join the Air Force. And because it's middle grade, nothing like really bad happened. And why is my camera dying? So it was just good to see Carol and Maria meet and, you know, just their crew back in the Air Force Academy. Next up was Captain Marvel, The Hero's Journey, Star Force on the Rise. I only gave this one three stars. It wasn't as good as the other one. This one follows a bit of her time in the Star Force. So the first thing I read for Newt's was The Red Hunt by Mary Watson. Bloomsbury had sent me the second book, but I didn't own it the first book, so I went out and bought this. I gave it 3.5 stars. I quite enjoyed it. It's set in Ireland and it has Irish mythology throughout it. I enjoyed the characters and the storyline. I was just a bit confused about how the magic worked and how people were related to each other. Then I read Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. Finally, people have been telling me to read this for so long, but I only gave it three stars. I enjoyed the setting and the mystery, but I despise slow burn. Then I read an Oz YA book and that is Valentine by Jodie McAllister. I don't know why it took me so long to read this. I gave it four stars and if I were an urban fantasy book, I would be this book. It's filled with fae and it's set in Australia and it's filled with fandom references. Taylor Swift and Lord are mentioned on the first page and it also mentions Harry Potter and Veronica Mars and Vampire Academy and Buffy. Fandom, Australia, fae, me. I have to get myself the next two books in the series so I can see what happens next. The second to last book I read in winter was The Cinema at Starlight Creek by Ali Sinclair. I gave this one four stars which is actually surprising because the publisher sent this to me out of the blue and it's Australian historical. Yeah, historic. One half of it takes place in 50s Hollywood and the other half takes place in 90s Australia. And it's the story of these two kick-ass women in the entertainment industry. One is an actress in the 50s and the other one is a location manager who has dreams of becoming a documentary producer director in the 90s and it just follows their challenges from you know being women in the entertainment industry to the Hayes code to just following your dreams I really enjoyed it and the last book I read in winter but haven't finished yet is Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff I did have every intention of finishing it in August but I've just hit a bit of a reading slump so yay but I do also like that I'm savoring this the last one. I'm 158 pages in and I've already said holy shit and hot damn and ooh like multiple times. 
If you don't know, this is the third book in the Nevernight Chronicle, which is a fantasy written by Jay Kristoff, and it's not YA, it is adult. Also, when I was hanging out with Piera last month, I got to watch the Nevernight film that's going up on YouTube, and it already looks epic. Like, she showed us the unfinished version without the VFX in it, and it already looks so good. I can't wait to see the finished version, so go watch it and support Piera and her team. Okay, on to my spring TBR. I'm not very good at sticking to my TBRs, but I am determined to get at least half of these done. First up is Dog Dawn by Jay Krista. I'm gonna finish this. Second is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Everyone and their mother has read this book. It's contemporary new adult. It follows an English prince and the son of the American president. And apparently it's hate to love. I can't wait. The next one isn't out yet because it's out in November and that will be The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. It's the third in her Folk of the Air series and I need to know what happens. Now we get to the portion of my TBR that is books that I had on my readathon TBRs in winter that I did not finish. So from my newts TBR we have Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly. This one was sent to me ages ago. It's a Cinderella retelling about one of the stepsisters and I still want to read it. Then we have Killing It by Asia McKay, also sent to me by the publisher and I still have to read it. This one is adult and there is a woman who is an assassin but also a mother. She has to infiltrate this mother's group of like this mafia spies, I'm in. Then I want to read Nemesis by Anna Banks, this also on my new TBR. I received this in a fairy loot box ages ago and I'm going to read it eventually. Then we have Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I do also own the second book, so I might read that as well. It's an Amy and Megan book, so of course I'm gonna read it. Then I wanna read The Wicker Light by Mary Watson. This is the second book that the publisher had sent to me, but I didn't own the first book. And apparently this one actually follows different characters, which I'm a little sad about because I wanted to know what happened to the main characters from the first book. But I will read this and hopefully I will enjoy it and maybe understand the magic system a bit more than the first one. And now we're moving on to the two books from my Reading Rush TBR that I never finished. We have To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Hahn. Yes, I know, I still haven't read this, but I will. And What the Woods Keep by Katja de Becerra. This is Australian YA and Katja is local to Melbourne, so I've seen her at a few events. I'm still not completely sure what this is about, but it's supposed to be scary and and this cover is like gorgeous, so I'm intrigued. And the last three books on my TBR come as a package deal, and that is the Red Rising Trilogy by Pierce Brown. If you've been around long enough, you know that Red Rising has been on my TBRs for ages. But I never owned book two because I got book one and book three super cheap. But I just couldn't find Golden Sun anywhere, so I finally bought it, and you know, not one of these is the same format. I was hanging out with Pierre, Chami and Pat at Dimix and I figured if I was going to buy Golden Sun at any point it would be while I was with Pierre. So I'm going to make it happen in spring. So there you go, there are the books that I read in winter and the books I want to read in spring and I'm so surprised we made it through before my camera died because that red light has been flashing the entire time I've been filming and it's been like 25 minutes. Please comment down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them or if any of these books are on your TBR. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. Also, if you want to keep supporting me, if you can head over to Instagram and follow my Instagram stars.and.embers, the dots are important, I finally passed 300 followers and I really want to reach 500. Also on this channel I would really love to hit 1000 subscribers so I could start making some sort of money from it. So tell your friends.